all one of our community. Somebody who watches me was just here fixing my internet. So let's give a round of applause for Josh. He was super nice and he got our internet up and working. I did not expect to meet one of y'all today in all my pajama glory, <laughs> but it happened. He got it on in record timing and he worked really hard to get it on so I'm so appreciative of that because that means now I can pick up the camera and we can film today. I'm gonna bring y'all along with me as we wrap up this day. It is in the afternoon. My kids are making fun of me because my intro right now. All of my morning stuff has been done. We're just finishing up with school a little bit later than normal because we did have company here most of the day. He was here for a long time. So it's almost five and we're just now getting done with school but we're getting done with school and that's the important part. This part of the evening though I'm super busy pretty much up until the time that my head hits the pillow it's probably my easiest part of my day because it is mapped out in a checklist so strategically i don't veer i don't whoop, start veer off the checklist i stay right there and get what i need to get done the mornings i hear a dog in the trash ah! it's not harder in the mornings because my days you know monday through friday at school school is my priority throughout the days <laughs> Not just me just bouncing my dog, I swear. School is hard though. School is very taxing on the brain. So chaos can pursue through the evenings way more than it can in the mornings if I don't stay on my checklist. I love you too, Blue Jeans. I do. So you guys are gonna be <laughs> you guys are gonna be along with me today as we make sure that I get the daggone thing done. You believe in me, Blue Jeans? Do you believe in me? <laughs> These kids are hungry. Their daddy will be hungry when he gets back. So let's whip up something to eat first. Work it, work it, work it. Get it, baby. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we did that at the same time. <laughs> what the heck? We did that. So I'm getting on my own nerves here rewatching this because that water keeps running and it's because I haven't bought a dish stopper, drain stopper, sink stopper. I haven't bought one of those yet and that's completely unacceptable. I should have already bought one of those but in my defense I just haven't thought about it. I have been so scatterbrained it's not even funny. I have been just go, 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 go from sun up to sundown till my head hits the pillow and little things like a sink drain. <laughs> stopper thing that I don't even know the word for I haven't thought about getting I really thought that I was going to miss my dishwasher but in all honesty I, I haven't been missing it and it's because I have had no choice but to do the dishes fairly quickly um, if I want my kitchen to look presentable and if I want my sink to look nice and not cluttered and overflowing with dishes, it causes me to stay on the dishes, not having the dishwasher to fall back on for some reason. And I don't know why. And I really want to get a dishwasher in the future. But as of right now, like I'm okay with hand washing the dishes because it almost backs me into a corner and makes me <laughs> hand wash the dishes when they need to be washed. It's not that I found this thing inside me that just ends up loving. I've just discovered that I love to do dishes or anything like that. I still despise dishes, <laughs> very much so. But the thing that's been helping me is I know that I have to hand wash them. So I've been rinsing it out when I put it in the sink. And whenever I get done cooking something, I've been putting water in it to set and soak. Because I know I'm going to have to hand wash that thing. I know I'm not going to be able to just like rinse it off and put it in the dishwasher. So I've been doing my part by doing what you could call, I guess you could call it pre-treating my dishes and it's something that I've picked up and I've been really good at doing. So I think that's something I'll continue to do even when I do get a dishwasher in the future. And it's why I don't despise not having one now. It kind of taught me a lesson. Come on, my great, 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 great grandma didn't have no dishwasher. And that woman, listen, my nanny's mom, my mamma was the cleanest person on this planet. Like that woman was the best homemaker in the world. And she never had a dishwasher and her house always stayed not 
perfect but very presentable she took pride in her home so i know if our great 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 grandparents can do that i i'm i don't need to be whining about a dishwasher do i miss it absolutely i'm gonna be honest with you i do miss it but not having it has taught me a very valuable lesson i said lesson as lesson and blessing all in one <laughs> it did teach me a very valuable lesson and that is keeping that sink cleared is not easy but if you take measures like pre-treating and soaking and rinsing out dishes and not letting them sit and crust up stuff like that it does make it easier on you whenever it is time to wash those dishes and it doesn't take up as much time and I also had to come to the realization that I was set an unrealistic standard for me when I thought my sink was going to be clear for very long because even right after clearing the sink like this, it's not long until it's filled up again. It's inevitable. So I sort of had to come to the realization that I'm not doing this for it to ever be done because dishes are never done. You, they might look done, but, but a clear sink is always short-lived. <laughs> Look how orange that tree is. I was walking by the window and I was like, oh my gosh, the fog's going away too. It was really foggy out here and then all of a sudden it's gone. It is so orange. That's happened overnight. Dishes are done so that I can add more dishes. But wait till y'all get a little of this. Y'all are going to be so proud of me. You guys are going to be so proud of me. I worked so hard yesterday to get all my laundry done. And the only thing I have left is a load of towels. Like that's it. Ah! Look how much better it looks, like all clear and stuff. Oh my gosh. It took all day long, but I did it. <laughs> With the help of the kiddos. They really deserve a medal because they ran all the clothes. I just washed them, dried them, and folded them, and sorted them. They ran them to the places. Everybody knows that's the hard job, so hand clap. One hand hand clap for my kiddos. <laughs> Before this day is over, it's... It's 5.51. I'm going to start dinner at around 6.30 because that's about the time that I anticipate Shane to be back. So I've got about 30 minutes until I have to start on dinner. I'm going to do like this bacon ranch chicken pasta thing. I don't know. It looked really good on Pinterest. I've never tried it before. But I'm going to try it today. And I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Kind of nervous. Pinterest recipes have been making me nervous lately. <laughs> Some of them just like, they look weird. Like you, they sound like they would be good. But they just look weird. Or either they look really good and they taste weird. It's never like a happy medium. It's always one or the other. Since I have about 30 minutes until I need to start dinner though, I've already got all the school graded and everything. And I already got... My, somebody's coming in and out. And I've already got my... um, already got my grades in the report. Already got my little tidy up done that I try to do in the afternoons. Nowadays, that really does help a lot. If y'all remember back in 2020, circa 2020 Fairfully Created, my house was atrocious all of the time and it was because I waited till in the mornings to clean because I hated cleaning in the evenings. In the evenings, I have a very big lull. I think it's where like I eat and I get tired and I don't have diabetes. At first I was worried I had diabetes. <laughs> I don't have diabetes. My blood work is actually perfect except for a little bit of low cholesterol and a thyroid issue. Y'all are gonna be hearing pings because every time my door opens, you hear a ping. <laughs> But as far as glucose and stuff like that, it's perfect. I got checked because I was getting tired in the evenings after I eat and stuff like that. And I don't know if it's just like everything's come from the day is crashing down on me and I just like that big long adrenaline spike is gone. But I used to not do anything in the evenings and focus on that morning getting everything done in the, right in the morning when I first wake up. A, because I was half asleep and when you're half asleep doing something, it doesn't well, seem as hard. <laughs> you're just kind of trying to make it <laughs> through it. Um, and then B, I had that adrenaline spike, that initial dr adrenaline spike in the mornings. So I've kind of trained myself to have um, not an adrenaline spike at all and kind of level out my energy for the day by not doing a crap ton in the morning and not overdoing it and not either. Just doing a steady amount of work throughout the day and that helps me a whole lot avoid that crash and avoid that adrenaline kick. What I've been doing is I've been tucking my kitchen in and telling it a whole bedtime story. Not deep cleaning it at night or in the evenings, but I've been trying to A, clean as I go when I cook, which you guys will see me doing that tonight, but also not letting it pile up throughout the day and addressing stuff that's in the floor. When I walk past it, I pick it up. A lot of things that my mama hens on here have told me for years that I just couldn't get in the groove of until I got in the groove of it. And I can't tell you what that click was in my head, that switch that made me start doing it, but I started doing it and it was a game changer. When I tell y'all these mama hens on this channel in the comments know what they're talking about, 
they really honest to god know what they're talking about they're smart so tonight we're gonna do all the evening things it's about the time it'll be while you're when you're watching this it's about the time that it is here so we're gonna spend the evening the whole evening together pretty much all evening which is pretty cool because it's evening here and it's evening there so we're kind of on the same like you know <laughs> it's like we're actually hanging out for once and where there's not a big old time difference unless you're on the west coast if you're on the west coast you left out and i'm sorry <laughs> but we're going to be tucking the kitchen in tonight we're going to be doing all the evening chores and making sure that future marina in the morning marina is set for her day i've been also trying to do that taking taking into consideration future marina and her workload because i was being pretty nasty to her there for a while i was that one co-worker that like needs a smoke break every five minutes <laughs> so that's what i was to future marina for a long butt time since i do have i can't wait to get that daggone wall down the next video y'all will see will be us demoing some of these walls in this house and i cannot wait it's just giving me castle vibes i feel like rapunzel stuck in this house with a wall <laughs> Since we got 30 minutes, it's not 30 minutes no more, <laughs> but since we got a few minutes until I had to start on dinner, I have to get some gnarly stains out of some stuff. I got to get some um, stains out of the kiddos' karate geese, and I have to get, they ate ketchup in their karate geese because we were at a festival, and I'm not even mad about it. I told them, they were like, mom, it's all over. I was like, listen, mama learned. Y'all remember the last time making video, I learned how to get stains out? Mama's got this. I can, this first time I can ever say that. Mama's got this, y'all. I can get stains out. No, no fear. Mama's here. <laughs> so I got to get some ketchup and some pretty gnarly stains out of their karate geese. And I also got a hot chocolate stain in my brand new sweatshirt. I'm doing it with some OxyClean, like an OxyClean paste that I make. I did it in the last homemaking video. I believe that was the last homemaking video. and Or it was the homemaking video before the last homemaking video. I don't know, they all run together after a while. I literally break down my lifespan into videos. <laughs> now, <laughs> being on YouTube, I break down my days into videos. Like, was that the day that I filmed this or the day that I edited that? <laughs> In the last couple of homemaking videos, it was in one of those, I learned how to get stains out. By using a paste made with OxyClean and then scrubbing a little bit. And it worked really, really good. So here's hoping. If I've lost my magic touch, I'm going to cry. I don't believe in magic. Hands don't fill me now. Is it appropriate to do this in my kitchen sink? I feel like it's not, but I just cleaned it. So it's clean. I'm going to do it in the kitchen sink. First step. Step one. Assess the situation. Address the situation. Where are my stains at? Let's see here. Oh, I found it. See that gnarly ketchup stain right there? It's not gnarly, is it? <laughs> Was I being dramatic? I might, I might be the drama. <laughs> but it is ketchup, and it has set in there for a few days, which I don't think is good. So step two is create my paste. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this OxyClean stuff right here. It's the OxyClean Odor Blasters. I really hope I didn't just spray OxyClean all over my dishes. <laughs> I'm going to take about, mm, maybe a little bit more now. I'm going to take about that much and put it in this lid. I'm just using a Pure X Crystal lid. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. And I'm going to whisk it up. I might have to add a little bit more. Uh, OxyClean to make that paste paste. You want it to, I want it to kind of resemble toothpaste. I'm, I'm in, I was going to say you, but I want to be clear this isn't a tutorial. <laughs> you have to know something in order to teach something, and I don't know enough to teach nothing. So this is just a watch it and try it at your own risk sort of thing. That's what everything is basically on my channel anyway. But now it's becoming sort of a paste. You can see. See, it looks like, um, sort of like toothpaste kind of. Can't remember if I put Dawn in the last mixture or not. This is getting warm. Is it supposed to get warm? Why is that getting warm? Did I use hot water or am I creating a concoction? Am, am I doing a science project? I don't know. Um, man, that's a, that's a nice paste. Let me just say, that's a nice paste. All right, I'm going to scoop some out with my plastic fork here, and I'm going to put it on the stain and pat it. And I'm going to leave it on there for about 15 minutes. Let's assess the situation with these. I'm not really seeing any on these, but they had it in the pile that I told them to put it in for stains. There's a little stain. 
Can you see? It's very, very tiny. It's right there. We'll do it. We're going to do the same thing. Just pat it on there. Let's see here. JC, Joey! Yeah? Oh, I didn't know you were down there. Where's the stain on this one? That, that one I just brought in there. Oh, you just brought it in there? Jolly, did your shirt not have a stain on it? Just your pants? Yeah, just my pants. Just oh, okay. Alright, so this one. I have a stain, but you can't get that stain out. Huh? My shirt has a stain, but it's been out there. Where's it at? Well, don't tell me I can't get it out, girlfriend. I am. Daddy says no one can get it out. Okay. Oh, Daddy says nobody can get it out, huh? Yeah, chocolate. Where? Where? Right there? Yeah. Okay, we got a mild chocolate stain right here. It's very, it's very, barely noticeable. But Daddy seems to think nobody can get it out. Jay said, so what do we gotta do now? We gotta get it out or bust. It really doesn't help to be blind. I'm, I'm literally legally blind. Does not help to be blind. We are looking for stains, because I can't see anything. All right, now let's see, here's my, my Kelsey, in my Kelsey Air shirt. Your girlfriend was, Having a hot chocolate party, apparently. There's a lot of, of hot chocolate stains on this one. It's it's pretty bad. See? It's pretty bad. Uh, this is Heather Gray, so I hope this doesn't mess anything up, like color-wise, or bleach it out or anything. From my understanding, you can use this with colors, but I don't know for sure. I should read the instructions, I feel like. That's the most satisfying sound. Welcome to my ASMR channel. <laughs> I'm going to rinse this out because I still use this for my crystals cup. Alright, we got our little concoctions on here. So now we wait and read the instructions. <laughs> After the fact. It says... <clears throat> All of them just fell. Dag nabbit. Now I just got my whole sink full of clothes. Dag nabbit. Fill to line A for regular loads. Add to every load. Use with detergent for cleaner, fresher, brighter, wider clothes. Musty towels, pet beds, workout clothes, whites, and colors. Okay, so it is good for colors. Whew. Soft surfaces, carpets, and upholstery. You can make a paste. Nice! Grout and bins. Trash can bins. So it does work for colors and watts. Workout clothes, musty towels, which we're about to go and do here, about to go and do here in a minute. And pet beds. I need to get the pet's bed. This is the OxyClean Odor Blaster for sweat, musty towels, and potty odor. You came to the right place, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna let these clothes marinate. I'm just going to let them marinate for 15 minutes. Then we'll come back to scrubbing. I don't think it's going to take much scrubbing, hopefully. It's crusted on there. JJ. Look, it's out. What's out? It's a stain. What stain? Now I don't look like I have a poop stain. Okay. <laughs> a dookie stain on me. <laughs> um, uh, uh, that, what's going on? Got that one. Two down, two to go. I'm having to do very little scrubbing at all. This is awesome. That big old ketchup stain is out.
I'm getting started on dinner 30 minutes late. It's 7 o'clock. I gotta get dinner done and eaten by 8 because we cannot eat at 8. We ain't got, I ain't got the digestive system to eat at 8. <laughs> well, I need to get it done now. I'm running behind. I didn't have an ingredient that I needed and I had to wait for Shane to get it on his way home and bring it here. So that's what put me back 30 minutes behind. It's 7.06. Let's do the day on thing. The good thing about this recipe is it only takes two chicken breasts and that fed a family of six with a crap ton of leftovers. So that is a win 100%. I'm just cutting off, trimming off the fat, the little white pieces of fat, and then I'm going in and I'm halving the chicken breast to make four pieces of chicken breast. And that just makes it easier for them to cook. They cook faster and more thoroughly. And then later on, it makes it easier to dice the chicken up to put in the pasta or on top of it like we did. I'm going in and patting each side of the chicken dry. I've never done this before, and I usually don't whenever the recipe calls for it, but I decided to on this day, and I kind of sort of felt like I was giving the chickens a spa day. Don't know if I'll do it again, but I did get good results from it. I patted it down, dried it on both sides, and then went in with my seasonings. At least I don't think that I've ever patted down a chicken. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't remember doing that. And I have like sort of a something that's very, very similar to a traumatic brain injury from my pseudotumor cerebri. It's basically an imitation of a tumor on your brain and it caused me to go blind in my left eye. It also caused me to have issues with my speech. And it's a big word that I can't name. It starts with an A. And then it also um, causes me to have issues coming up with words. When I talk sometimes, it's hard for me to find adjectives and conjunctions and stuff like that. I misuse and twist up my words a lot. And then sometimes I forget and I have a lot of memory issues. A lot of memory issues. What's been helping me while cooking is I'm cleaning up while I'm cooking. So I keep this little trash area like you just saw. And it's just a designated area to put all the trash in whatever you're using, whatever recipe you're cooking, whatever trash you have from the cooking. You put it all in one area and you don't leave it scattered over the countertops. It makes it easier for cleanup. And I've been doing that and loving that lately because it really does help. I'm going through and I'm washing dishes as I'm cooking. And this was hard at first, I'm not going to lie, but I've been doing it for a few weeks now and it's getting easier as I go. It's really hard for me to multitask, but I'm teaching myself how to, and it is getting better when it comes to like me trying to cook and clean at the same time. Used to, I didn't like cooking at all because I couldn't hardly multitask to save my life. Now I'm cooking and I'm also cleaning at the same time. So progress, not perfection, but I am noticing a lot of progress. The more I keep at it and work at it, the better I seem to get at it. Martha Stewart, move over. <laughs> There's a lot going on on my kitchen counters and I don't like a lot on my counters, especially if you remember in the last trailer I lived in, I had very little like actual usable counter space. I had that big island, but the island was almost as tall as me. so. I would like chop onions like this. So I had very little countertop space in that trailer. Here I have a little bit more, tiny bit more. Like this being the biggest part, the bar being the biggest part, that's about as much as I had in the single wide, all this right here. But I have so much on here and it's because I don't have a organization method going on right now. I don't even have a dish trainer. I gotta buy a dish trainer really soon. I'm hopefully, gonna get a dishwasher but that's in the future when we start the renovations in the kitchen and we got a lot more to do before we get here for right now I do have this little area I'm enjoying cooking on and I have that little area it's just all cluttered up so this evening I'm really wanting to get those dishes put away stop using that as the giant dish drain area <laughs> and then get this stuff out of the way so I at least have this little square here I had the crock pot out because I was going to make crock pot meal this morning and I decided against it Especially with us having company and stuff like that. So I'm gonna clear off that and then I'm gonna have to leave this about like it is because I do need a place to have my microwave. Definitely gotta do something with this though because it's driving me bonkers. I haven't organized it because everything's gonna be changing and I'm, I'm having an issue. One of y'all called it out in my fall decorate video with me. You were like, Renee, you're not really inspired, are you? Because you usually have so much fun with stuff like this. And they're right, they're right. I'm, I am inspired, they're right to a certain extent. I am expired. I am expired. Mm -hmm. Might as well be clabbering. <laughs> but there's so much change going on right now. It's hard to live in a house that's forever changing. And in my last trailer, it was easy because a lot of it was changed. 
and I was just doing little updates here and there by the end of it. So it was a lot easier to live a life and decorate for seasons and do organization videos and all these things because I had like a base, you know, canvas sort of everything's continually changing in this house and everything's gonna change in this house so i really have no motivation to organize anything because it's just gonna get disorganized again especially the kitchen the kitchen's getting gutted i mean complete gutted the kitchen is not even going to be technically right here it's going right here but it's, it's going to lengthen out i have like my whole design is it's going to be a pretty large kitchen so all this is going to be gone every bit of this is going to be gone every bit of that's going to be gone when we renovate the kitchen so it's hard for me to get used to putting stuff somewhere when i know that somewhere's not going to be there in a, just a few months <laughs> he's trying to talk me and telling him what i'm making tonight oh no it's a surprise it's a surprise <laughs> I'm taking the chicken out so that it can cool and then I can dice it once it's cooled. I'm gonna make my sauce. The sauce is not very light, it's very heavy sauce. But I ended up really liking it. I add about three tablespoons of butter. I'm sprinkling in about two tablespoons of flour and sort of making a roux like you would with gravy. I'm also heating some half and half for about 40 seconds so that it's a little bit, I think they called it tempered, I can't remember. But I'm gonna slowly add it in there and stir while it's coming to a boil, sort of like you make breakfast gravy, almost identical to that. Since it's got a real good bowl going on, I'm gonna lower the heat and let it simmer and I'm gonna add a packet of ranch seasoning and then I'm gonna go in and add two cups of shredded cheddar and just stir that in really, really good. This is not like a store-bought sauce, so don't go in it if you're gonna try this expecting a store-bought sauce. This tastes very homemade. It's very thick, very heavy sauce, but I really liked it and Shane said that he really liked it. You have to sort of get past the texture at first, but it is really good. I created a topping station like yours for chili and I had my chopped up chicken, some bacon that we could crumble over top and some extra cheese and it was super good. The kiddos liked making their own version of this. Some of them liked just the bacon, some of them liked just the chicken, some just the cheese, but I ended up putting all of, this is Shane's plate. I ended up putting all of it on mine. Mine's just half this portion because I, we all ain't God's favorite and I can stare at a cracker and gain 20 pounds and Shane can remain the same. So I have to eat half of what Shane eats in order to gain weight at a slow momentum, basically. This is what the kitchen's left with. Not as bad as it would have been if I hadn't been cleaning as I go. So I'm going to finish up cleaning what didn't get cleaned up as I cooked. And then I'm going to also switch over this laundry because the kids' geese are washed. So I'm going to throw them in the dryer, finish up, and tuck this kitchen into bed. Also, Holy Spirit wanted me to get back on here and say God does not actually have favorites. <laughs> Man. Now if you want to get the best of me, got you smiling, that's for sure. Funny how you had the best of you. I don't know if I'm making home. I don't know if I'm like I can't. All I know, sound up this goal. Only know I want the best of five. So I. clean a whole lot in this video it is not sponsored at all i just i'm digging how good it is at taking out the stains i can only take take credit for like that much of it like it's that stuff it's good
I used to dread doing dishes right after the fact of eating dinner because I felt like it would take up so much of the evening. And if you do it like I do it tonight, like I did it here, where you're cleaning as you go and then whatever's left over, you've had it rinsed out and you didn't leave crud in it to sit and wait and crust and get gunk on it and stuff, it really doesn't take that long. It took me about 20 minutes to get everything washed down and then the sink washed out and I was done. I didn't even have to spend a whole lot of time washing down the countertops because they had already been wiped down too. I just had to get a few things off of there, you guys saw, and then I was ready to go. So this is the way I'm going to do it from now on because I've learned that if you get it down to a system that you can do that's realistic, that's not asking too much of yourself and not burning you out, it's something that you can continue to do and get better at as you go. excited for is to have a sink a stainless steel sink again if you were here when I had the single wide you guys know I tried a bunch of experiments on that sink and I ended up painting it with appliance paint and that did not work <laughs> even though I sanded it beforehand and everything I did it how it was supposed to be done it did not work and it started chipping and my sink was banged up I didn't like looking at it I tried to hide it with like these things that go on the bottom of the sink because it drove me bonkers so it's nice having a stainless steel sink again because I can actually see me washing it and watch it get clean versus when I had that white scratched up sink I couldn't tell I couldn't see suds so I, I couldn't get that visual I couldn't visualize it getting clean I miss that satisfaction of watching like the soap suds be washed away and everything so I've been having fun cleaning out my sink anytime I can you look so good in black like black is your color is it yes with the little underarm symbol I'm gonna get you more hoodies like that. Okay. Jake. My shorts have black on them. Okay, you have a job to do. My hat. You have has a black job on it. To do, okay, your job is to. My go. beard has black on it. And gray. Don't talk about that. <laughs> um, your job is to do something with these dishes. Oh no. I've been enamored by my beautifulness and black. Just knock those in the floor, and then you're gonna have the audacity to put them in the drawer. I don't know what about. I don't have nothing in my hand. We got to eat before eight, by the way. It was like one minute before eight. It was before eight. Now I'm doing the evening chores, but he's doing one for me. I'm just putting up all that away. What? Kids are getting showers, right? Are we getting showers? Yeah, ma'am. Showers are happening. Dish removal is happening. I still have to vacuum and tidy up the living room, which I rearranged my living room, and I love it so much. It's not like perpendicular. That's not the right word. Perpendicular. Like it is. It's. It's not messing with me yet, but I know it will at some point. But the windows like here, and the couch is like here. <laughs> But it's the only place I can put the couch without it being like so far up that you can't even see the TV from it. And there's just no point in that because the whole point of the couch is sitting on it to watch TV, right? So, it, it looks a little weird with the windows, but I'll take it because I like it so much better the way that it is versus the way that I did have it, which was sitting in the middle of the floor. I didn't like that. It, yeah, it made it feel so much smaller than it is because this is a huge double wide. It made it feel so much smaller than it is that way. So I moved it against the wall and left the 
living area open and I like that a lot better for now of course it's going to get changed whenever we do the living room makeover but for right now I like it like that and the kids walked in and were like mom it's so cozy and y'all know if you've been here for a while I live for that seal of approval anytime he or they say oh it's so cozy or oh it looks so good I'm like yeah that's what I was wanting I was working for that man I have to vacuum with this little vacuum I had to get little baby yes that's your hand um I have to vacuum with the black vacuum that you guys saw me vacuum with a couple of videos ago. I have to do that while I'm waiting on a piece for my shark vacuum. I'm a shark person through and through and I love my shark vacuum and I found out you can actually buy like pieces for the vacuum so that whatever piece is not working like you can put it on there and switch it out and not have to buy a whole nother shark vacuum so to keep my shark my lovable shark i've even named it i named it jaws get it jaws shark <laughs> so it, it, i'm connected to it like we have a connection so i'm waiting for a part of it to get here so that i can fix it in the meantime i've got to use a bissel it was cheap it was like well, I mean cheap for a vacuum. $50 isn't cheap. But for a vacuum, considering the other prices and the competitive prices, it was a cheap vacuum. So it's been doing good for now until I can get my shark up and going again. So if you see my shark in the background and you see me vacuuming with a black vacuum, that's why. I said all that and you still ain't good. You know, I got the kiddo stains out of there. Uh, these. Even the I'm proud of you. Tank. That's not an easy... Even the chocolate stain you told JC, I couldn't get out. We're just waiting on Daddy. No pressure. Oh, I need to tell you guys. Okay, so... Oh, reel it in for a second. November. YouTube sent out a notification to all creators that November the 1st begins this new thing they're doing with the ads. So I have my ads set to skippable because I don't want to force somebody into watching an ad. I feel like that takes away from the video whenever you've got, it. maybe it's like a really interesting part of the video to you and you have this big old non-skippable ad and it's the most boring, like probably for like sleep aid or something. <laughs> and it comes up and you're watching it waiting to get back to me where I'm talking like this. Like imagine me talking like this and then you have for only three payments of $99.99, you can get this super flusher toilet. But then I'm still talking like this, and I'm doing, and I'm talking about something really interesting or something really in depth, and then it does that. <laughs> Into those medical mm -hmm. uh, uh, commercials, they always talk really fast, going over all the the. So it's just going to roll away into my speech because I'm always talking fast. So I always have it to skippable for that reason. I don't ever want y'all to feel like you're forced into watching an ad. I know a lot of you guys do watch the ads for me, and I'm not. That I'm so appreciative for that. That helps me so much, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. And I, I told somebody in the comments the other day. I was like, I think it's today. Uh, they were talking about watching the ads for me, and I was like, I, my mind can't wrap around that level of support because I know how boring some of those ads are, and I know how long some of them can be too. I appreciate that so much, but. Starting in November 1st, I no longer have control over whether it is skippable or non skippable. YouTube is taking that away and they will have control and they will have say over where the skippable ads go, where the unskippable ads go, and then if it's going to be a skippable or not skippable. So usually I have my ads, my ads are the same in every video. In the background in the YouTube studio, I have a certain thing. And I have a set amount of ads every so long, and that has never changed since I got monetized almost, what, two year, two and a half years ago? Mm -hmm. um, that's never changed. It stayed the same. So that won't change, but whether it is a skippable or non-skippable ad may change because it's not up to me anymore. And I don't know why they're doing that. They're saying that it's going to benefit both them and me. I don't know. I wanted to let you guys know so that way you didn't think I was trying to stick some non-skippable um, toe scratcher video in your face yes. <laughs> and, and kind of break the you know thing so um, hopefully I'm, I'm putting some trust in YouTube I know some creators have I'm putting some trust in YouTube because they really it, it re YouTube is a great platform to be on I don't have any complaints as far as it goes with anything so I trust them that this is going to be an okay move I just don't like that control being taken away from me because I do like to make sure that my ads are skippable. Maybe they'll keep the skippable ads up more often. They might end up putting more non-skippable ads up. I don't know. But regardless, I've got faith that what they're doing is going to be alright. I kept on last month and this month because last month is when we got the memo. I kept on 
thinking and making a little note to tell you guys and I kept forgetting. So now that this one took forever, <laughs> he's still not done. <laughs> now that this one took forever, I had a time to tell you. And we're probably not even gonna notice a big difference if you want my honest opinion because they've sent memos out like this before, not regarding skippable or non-skippable ads, but they've sent memos out like this before about other things and I've not really noticed a difference. So you guys will have to let me know from your end um, that what the difference is if you notice any upcoming it starts November 1st and um, you guys will have to let me know if you notice a difference. I don't think that we will. I really don't. You're welcome. I still gotta pick those up but your camera's in the way. Way to break the third wall. Third wall. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon needs the sun. About the others, you set my world on fire. You're my heart's desire. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I'm going to dilute some of this and mop the floors with it. It's the lemon kind. I usually don't go for lemon, but I'm going to try it. Because I does, it does make stuff smell really refreshing, so I'm going to try it. What happened? It broke. Go That's how hard I clean. I was going to say, is that how hard you've been finding it in the sky? Oh, you got to get it out of there. Shane always sweeps it up for me whenever he's home because he knows that I hate getting down there and doing it. So even if I don't even ask him, he just automatically comes and sweeps it up. He has legit done that for like 15 years. <laughs> I just need you. I don't know what it is you do. I just want you. I just need you. I don't know what it is you do. I just wanna love you. Just wanna hold you. Just wanna be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single. I'm using my trusty Overliable O Cedar mop, but I do have that Shark mop. It's a vacuum mop I was telling you guys about. I think I called it a steam mop, and I don't think it's a steam mop. I think it's a vacuum mop, and I don't think those two are the same thing. But I'm waiting until we put down the hardwood that is in the den just chilling right now. I'm waiting until we put down the hardwood throughout the house before I use that because I'm so excited to use that on hardwood. I cannot wait. You could see yourself just sitting there on my chair. I'm staring at you. You don't even notice. Should have told you straight away. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I know you haven't noticed. You know. You know.
we tackled the day together well the evening together i am my nighttime jammies thank y'all for hanging out with me i hope y'all have a blessed morning and a night whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus loves you more i'll see y'all later don't forget if i can tackle my evening and i can close my kitchen and my living room down you can too i believe in you i believe in you y'all if i can do it anybody can <laughs> love you